Greetings and salutations, my lovely courtiers. I have missed you. I was in Twitter prison. And I don't like to post these little writing community unboxing vids when they're not fresh. So tonight I'm posting it fresh. Uh, I think I got three books in here because, you know, Amazon lets me know how many I got. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But uh, I'm pretty excited about it nonetheless because uh, my bro from uh, my writing group... Uh, his book is in here. So uh, let's get right to it and see what we got, all right? Get my handy dandy razor here. And we'll go. You ever have a song stuck in your head that you uh, you love? So you don't mind get, it getting stuck in your head that it's like stuck there for weeks? Uh, mine is Two Big Pumpkins by Elvira. I'm constantly in my head. Two Big Pumpkins. You know, so. That's where my mind's at. So if I just start singing randomly about two big pumpkins, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so here we go. Three bucks, one package. Oh, what's this? They gave me a little something extra here. I don't know what it is. Oh. Okay. So this one is Echoes After Death by K.H. Baker. That would be this one right here. Isn't that cool? It's an excellent cover. Uh, this is apparently winner of the Author's Cup Thriller Award, so I'm quite excited about that. I'm going to read to you what the back says, so here we go. Olivia Dawson always thought that she had a happy life. However, it didn't matter what she believed, because there were people who saw a rarity that they had to get rid of. Everyone around her thought she was crazy. Eventually, she even came to think of it. She didn't manage to stabilize her life until she left that town that had tormented her so much. But after the death of her father, she will have to return to the place that caused so much damage in the past. There, she must face her worst nightmares while trying not to fall back into that spiral of paranoia that threatens to engulf her. Now, um, K.H. Baker, I don't know if you saw it, but in a previous post I offered that if I buy your book, I mean, I have quite an extensive reading list, as you can tell, but if I buy your book and there's a specific paragraph in the book that you would like me to feature on my show, just message me, you can DM me, um, and I'll, and, you know, tell me the page number and what word starts with, what word it ends with, and I will read a paragraph from your book for my audience here. So that's K.H. Baker, Echoes After Death. Looking forward to that one. That looks awesome. Now, my next one. A Girl Called Ari by P.J. Sky. Also, another excellent cover. You guys are whooping my butt in book covers here, I gotta tell you. And I'm going to take the advice of my friend Anna Masakat and punch up my cover a bit. Make it, give it a bit more pop. But here we go with another poppy cover that looks awesome. Let's read what's on the back of this one, shall we? In a distant future, a world divided. You already have my attention. I'm all into that. A walled city in a devastated wasteland. Herstaria. Excellent name. For real. For Saria, a struggle for power becomes a struggle to survive when she finds herself on the wrong side of the wall. Lost in the wasteland, she faces warring factions, bloodthirsty creatures, and the endless burning sun. As a goth, I relate to that hard. The endless burning sun. And then there's Ari. Who is she really? And can she trust this girl from the wasteland to lead her back to the city gates? One thing's for sure. Oh, it's not Staria, it's Starla. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I read it wrong. I apologize, PJ Sky. I love you. Um, Starla's once privileged life will never be the same. And it's listed as fiction. Uh, it was the, the way it was printed on the back at first. The first word was it looked like Staria. And instead it's Starla. So I got that wrong. I apologize. 
Anyway, please do read the book. I'm excited to read it. So that's why I bought it, because it hooked me right from the description. I need it. And last, but definitely not least, is my homeboy, Ross Young. And as I told him earlier, here's a cheers to you, my brother. As many of you know, I have a taste for different alcohols. I don't get to drink very often, so I cherish the moments when I do. Tonight is Mukov VS Cognac. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but I totally wish I were, because it's awesome. Anyway, so let's get to R. Young's book here. It says, even the dead can lose their heads. Deadheads, a Gloomwood novel. And here's another epic cover that I need to learn from. <laughs> There it is, Deadheads. And let's read what's on the back, shall we? Augustine Blunt is a washed-out cop with a bad attitude, a drinking problem, and a troubled past. Well, that washed-out cop and I have a lot in common. Yeah, what are you getting some mental juju here, Ross? Is that what's going on? It's okay if you are. There's a lot in there. You can use it. Go ahead. Oh, he's also dead. But that's okay, so is everyone else. Other than that, things are just peachy. You know, he's dead, but it's alright. It's cool. Someone has stolen the Grim Reaper's head, and Blunt has been told to find it. Sure, just go find a random head, you know. I got this. In a new city where the rules of the living don't apply, Blunt's up to his neck in the brown stuff. And he's never been much of a swimmer, so he's basically drowning in shit. That's it. Sounds like my life, dude. I'm relating to this guy. I can't wait to read this. With the aid of a woman who keeps turning involuntarily invisible, a journalist who hasn't written an article since she died, and a bureaucrat who can't say no to anyone, Blunt's got to stop whoever's stealing the heads of the city's elite. This is incredible it's just from the description i'm totally i'm all in as he begins his investigations he finds things aren't all they seem who are the gloomwood youth order what do you call the murder of someone who's already dead why are people having their heads chopped off and what is in the hot dogs I, you know, I just had a veggie chili dog tonight. It was awesome. Anyway, with time slipping away, he needs to learn what makes the city tick before there's no city left. Now, if that doesn't leave you in suspense and wanting to read it, I don't know what will. But you definitely got to check out Deadheads. I'm all about it. I R. Young. He's in my writing group, so you know he's awesome just, just from that. But uh, I don't exclusively buy books from my writing group, as you can tell. I, you know, I buy books from people I don't know. I, whatever catches my fancy, I'm going to buy that book and I'm going to read it. And, um, and probably fall in love with the person who wrote it. Just, you know, like Anna Mossacat and Halo Scott. You guys are awesome. Victoria Marswell. See, I pronounced your name right. Some other people who I won't mention pronounced it wrong. In a podcast that I listened to earlier, uh, although they did pronounce S.B. Phyllis's name right and A.C. Merkel's name right, so they might be forgiven. I might forgive them. I just may. Anyway, if you want to find voices like these, go on Twitter and look for the hashtag writing community. You'll find me there and you'll find all these other amazing authors who I feature on my show in these unboxing videos. And you will find a new voice, and you just might find your favorite book of all time. You don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I've fallen in love with so many of these novels that um, I can't even... I mean, Kelly Miller, like, everything she writes is pure gold to me. And uh, it's just really profound that, to me, because, uh, you know, I seek out things like this. I love, you know, indie movies and i've also i've always looked 
for you know indie music i am an indie musician an indie rock goth rock musician from like way back but i'm coming again so got some new stuff coming so i'm not done yet that's right anyway so it's always been my life i like to find the things that uh I mean, not that there's anything wrong with mainstream stuff. That would be awesome to be, you know, Stephen King or whatever. But I'm not Stephen King. But I still have stories to tell that are worth telling. And so do all these wonderful, amazing, awesome human beings who I've come to know in the Twitter writing community. And you should come to know them too. Because, you know, indie authors' voices are probably the originality that Hollywood is looking for. They just don't know it yet. You know? Everybody says Hollywood rehashes ideas. They are always trying to do remakes and redos and stuff like that. Well, if you read in the, you know, the indie author scene or the Twitter writing community, you'll find new voices telling original stories. So, you know, if you want to be kind of ahead of the curve, give us a check, you know, check us out. You won't be sorry. Anyway, as always, I am... Uh, sponsored by and supported by StevonLLC.com and uh, that's Stevon LLC group they uh, help people and employers find each other regardless of distance so if you're what an employer would consider an out-of-state employee Stevon LLC group will get you there safely and hygienically they are very, very, very concerned about our COVID situation. So every vehicle, every employee, everything is checklisted to make sure that you have the safest transition humanly possible. So check out com if you're looking for that perfect job for yourself or if you're an employer looking for a perfect employee, they will help you. Anyway, I am Lord Vale, signing off. Once again, thank you to all the people who watch these little videos of mine. I love every one of you. So, again, one last time, if you're an author whose book I've unboxed, and you know I've purchased your book, just uh, DM me. Anybody can DM me. And I will, uh, and you just let me know which chap, well, not chapter, let me know which paragraph you want me to read from your book that expresses your writing ability the, the best in your eyes. And I will read that on my little show here. So I want you to have a beautiful evening. And don't forget, support us indie authors.